Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 25th to May 1st, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy Capricorn and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see your energy for the week. All right, spirit, angels, and guides, show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. First card is Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. We have the Two of Wands. We have Four of Swords. The Knight of Swords in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse and the eight of wands at the bottom we have the fool in reverse okay i definitely um I definitely feel like you're holding yourself back here, um, Capricorn, from communicating with someone. Um, this person, I do feel like you desire a second chance with them, but you're not you're not going to take that leap of faith with them. It's like you don't trust them, even though you desire a second chance with them. You don't trust them. You might be spying on them for some of you, Capricorn. You might be watching them, keeping tabs on them. You're not confident in, in this connection with them. Yeah, two of wands. I feel like you're at a crossroads, Capricorn. You're at a crossroads. This could either be a missed opportunity or, or not, this relationship. Four of Swords is here. I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking. You're doing a lot of like weighing out your options, weighing out the pros and cons, you know? Yeah, there's desire here with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is kind of a card of um, desiring movement, desiring to take action. There's a relationship here with the Two of Cups in reverse that is, um, that's broken, a broken relationship, an unstable relationship. You might feel like you need to, you need to decide. You need to decide what you're going to do. Some of you are tired of, of this cycle or you're tired of going, you know, back and forth in your mind about this person. You're not feeling optimistic. Let's take a look at that two of wands. Tell me about the two of wands spirit. We have the three of wands in reverse. And we have the knight of pentacles. 
you're taking your time with the Knight of Pentacles. That's a very slow energy. So you're you're not rushing. Even though you do feel strong desire here with the Eight of Wands, you're not you're not rushing yourself. You're trying to be smart about what you do and about what you don't do. You're trying to be an adult, I want to say, like you're trying to be you're trying to be mature. You're trying to make the mature decision. But there is temptation here that makes it a struggle. Tell me about the Four of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. There's unfinished business between you and somebody. And we have the Devil in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this, this is what you're trying to avoid, this Devil energy. You know, this energy of temptation, of um, perpetuating cycles and... Um, creating toxicity or supporting toxicity. Tell me about this page of swords, Spirit. Let's look at that one. What's the page of swords doing here? We have the six of wands. Okay. And we have the five of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're trying to build up confidence to confront a certain situation here, to confront this relationship, this connection, this person. Because I feel like you've been hiding, you know, you've been hiding yourself. You've been kind of in hermit mode, you know. But it's been it's been tough for you because... Your mind tells you one thing and your heart tells you something else. Um, and you've been trying to kind of find middle ground, you know, find balance within your own self. You're also trying to be realistic also. You're trying to be realistic while at the same time, you also want to honor your desires, your 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 feelings, you know. So it's almost like you want to be fair. In in all aspects, you're trying to be fair in all aspects. You're trying to be um, mature in all aspects, but there's a lot of competing emotions and desires within you yeah i feel like i feel like this you see the green and the red there's a struggle here between wanting to maintain yourself grounded in reality while at the same time you because i feel like at the same time you don't want to um suppress yourself is, is that the word you don't want to like um Yeah, you don't want to like mistakenly cause a missed opportunity here with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it's almost like you want to be grounded, you want to keep yourself grounded in reality, but not not too much where you will where you'll end up missing out on an opportunity. So it's almost like it's a it's a delicate, you know, it's a delicate um fine line. And I feel like a part of you feels like you deserve to you know, take a risk, take a chance even if the future is not 
something that right now you feel like you can predict. Some of you might be trying to predict it with the Knight of Pentacles. So you might not know exactly where things are going to land, but a part of you feels like you need to, you need to at least try, you know, for better or for worse. But I feel like that's part of you because I feel like there's another part of you that is trying to convince you to give this up, you know, to let this go. Okay, let's take a look at your person's energy for the week now and see, let's see where, where their head is at and where their feelings are at. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. First card is ooh, the three of pentacles. Wasn't this your first card? I don't know if this was your first card. It was one of your cards. Three of pentacles upright. Seven of pentacles upright. The Seven of Wands in Reverse. The Six of Swords. The Eight of Eight of Wands in Reverse. And the Nine of Wands. At the bottom, the Emperor in Reverse. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Could also be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And fire sign, we have a strong fire. Emperor, ten of wands, two of cups, ten of cups. Wow, emperor in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, two of cups upright. This is someone who definitely has a lot of feelings for you, Capricorn. There's a lot of passion, a lot of attraction that this person has for you. And I feel like it gets stronger the more that you're away from them. Yeah, the more that you're away from them, the more that you don't chase them, like the longer you take to chase them, you know, the more they want you. That's what I'm seeing there. All right, let's see what else. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is definitely someone who's desiring growth. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles here. Look at that flower. They want things to grow between you two. They want to experience progress and forward movement and stability with the three of pentacles. They want a lot of things. Yeah, I think they want a lot of things with you. We have the 10 of cups here. I do feel like this is someone who wants a, uh, a happily ever after with you, Capricorn. That's their fantasy. The problem is though that this person's not taking any initiative with the seven of wands in reverse. I don't know if they're walking away for, um, we have the six of swords which can be an energy of creating distance. What's the Six of Swords doing here? We have the star. Mm, okay. And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. 
I don't know. They're not moving away. They're moving towards towards you. Slowly, stubbornly. I want to say slowly and stubbornly, they're moving towards you. Because I feel like they're starting to realize that you're not chasing them, you know? They're starting to see the reality here that you're taking your time, you're keeping your distance, you're not you're not running after them, you're not expressing any type of desperate energy. So they're moving towards you because they feel like they have no choice because you're you're not doing anything. And and they don't want to lose you. We have the two of cups here. They don't want to lose you. They want to have a relationship with you. I think they see you as the one, Capricorn. I'm getting that. They see you as the one. So they, they're going to have to like let go of their ego, which is very difficult for them to do. But I don't feel like they want to sacrifice you. They're putting up a lot of resistance. I will say that they're putting a lot of a lot. They're putting up a lot of resistance towards um, towards being honest with you, towards being truthful with you, towards expressing their feelings. Um, Reverse, yeah. But this is this is someone who knows that they're gonna have to do it whether they want to or not because um, the outcome is going to be losing you, and that's not an outcome that they're prepared to handle. At least not not a not. Not right now, not in this energy. I do feel like their feelings for you have grown, um, Capricorn. I think the more distance, the more time apart, that it's, it's grown stronger. And I feel like they're more sure. They're more sure about you than they were before, you know? Anything about those uh, green cards, Spirit? Three of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles, please. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that's exactly what I was wondering here. Capricorn, I feel like this is someone who's going to reach out to you. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like they're going to extend out an apology towards you. They are going to extend out an offer towards you. This is someone who who wants to take you seriously. I don't know what the past was was like between you two. Um, I'm sensing like like a change in this person's behavior or attitude or outlook or energy. I'm intuitively just feeling that. I don't know how they were in the past, but I feel like they're different for some reason. I kind of feel like they're going to surprise you also. Yeah. I feel like they're going to surprise you. You're not you're not going to expect this change in personality. But it feels like it's for for the better, you know. I still see some time here needed, some patience needed, but I do see them moving towards you, Capricorn. Yeah, Emperor is in reverse. I feel like they've they've become humble or like they've been forced into into an energy of hum humbleness. What's the Emperor in reverse? The devil, oh, there it is. 
Tá bom? What else? And the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, wow. Very stubborn person. Slow and stubborn. They're slow to learn. They're slow to to grow and to um, transform and evolve. But I feel like they are, though. I feel like they are transforming and evolving. Even though it's like, I don't know, a million lifetimes, probably. This person feels old. I feel like they're... I feel like they've lived through many lifetimes, you know. Their energy feels like an old energy. And yet it feels immature, you know. Yeah, it feels immature, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to continue in the extended reading, Capricorn. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their real feelings for you. What are their real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching, Capricorn. Please give me a thumbs up if they resonated. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.